hello everyone how's it going welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to implement the 10 by 10 navigation in your flutter app with mapbox navigation so never leave your app when you need to navigate your users to a specific location and also if you are interested and happy to see this build consider subscribing like and share the video as well so with that said let's jump right in so flutter mapbox navigation dependency really comes in handy when you want to add 10 by 10 navigation so with its features it has a full fledged 10 by 10 navigation UI for Flutter that's ready to drop into your application. And it's also professionally designed map style for daytime and nighttime driving, right? So with this feature, it has a customized map appearance specifically created to enhance driving experience depending on the time of the day. And it adjusts accordingly to daytime and also the nighttime. Um, it also has a worldwide driving, cycling, and also walking direction powered by open data and also user, user feedback. So with the navigation options, you can choose to be in the driving mode, the cycling, and also the walking mode, right? And it also has the traffic avoidance and proactive rerouting based on the current location. There is also natural sounding 10 instructions powered by Amazon Poly. So with this, there is no configuration needed and it gives you the instruction on where to turn during navigation, right? Um, so let's start with the configuration on iOS and Android. So with the iOS configuration, the first step is to create an account on Mapbox so you can have access to create an access token that has a download read scope, right? So I'll show how that's been done. So over here, I already have an account created, right? So we move on to the token session, create an access token, give the token name. So over here, you choose the download is to read scope, then you can create an account. So I already have a token created, so I'll be creating an additional token. So once you have the token created, you'll be directed to this page where you have access to the public token and also the secret token, right? So make sure you have that copied and stored somewhere else. So once you have access to the token, the next step is to create a file name as .NET RC in your home directory if it doesn't exist already. Then add below the following line of code, right? So over here, within my home directory, to show the hidden files, the command is shift, command, and a period, right? That will show the hidden files. So over here, you can see .NET RC, right? If you don't see this, you need to create one and paste in this line of code, right? Displaying your, your secret token that starts with SK, right? So that's basically it over here. So the second step is to add the map boss access token in the info the playlist file. That's the other alternative to this, right? So let's proceed with that. So within the iOS folder over here, you can see the runner. Then you can have access to the info the playlist file and just passing the key of my boss access token that's it over here so i'll be linking the github repo in the description so you can have access so the string needs to be your public key right so you need to paste in the public key and also allow audio location and also remote notification as well so the next step is also in order for the sdk to track the user's location they should move along a route, right? So you need to provide the NS location while in your description, right? For the user to accept its current location, right? So that's also added over here with the description as this app requires access token. Oh, sorry, this app requires to access your location to provide an accurate navigation direction. So that's basically it. And I think that's basically it. You can ignore the four steps and it will work accordingly. So let's move on to the Android configuration. So with the Android configuration, the first step is um, my boss API and vector tasks require my boss account and also access token, right? So a new file, resource file called my boss access token.sml should be created in this path, right? So I'll be doing that. So in our Android directory over here, move on to the app, the source, the main, you can see the rest folder, you can see values over here. So over here, we create my boss underscore access underscore token.sml file and pasting the code we found over here. There you go. So here you need to paste in our public key, right? That starts with the PK, right? So once you, you are done with that, the next step is to add permissions in the Android manifest file, right? So we need to add these three permissions over here and that's found over here, right? You need to add these three permissions in the manifest. That basically access the location also the network state. And the third step is, um. Within our graduate of properties file, we need to add the secret token, right? My boss download token, then provide our secret token, just like this. So, 
the build of gradle file is found over here the gradle.properties file sorry then at the last line that's the map boss download token then we pass in the token so once you are done with this step then we move on to the fourth step and you need to change the main activity file right to flutter fragment activity so that's found within the kotlin folder you can see the main activity .kt, right so initially this was flutter activity so you need to change that to flutter fragment activity and saving the changes over here so once you are done with the changes so let me close these tabs um we move on to the final step you need to add an implementation platform in the build or gradle file so you can just grab this over here and i'll be showing you how to do that so within the build or gradle file so within the app you can see the build or gradle file over here then within the dependence you can just add this implementation platform just like this so once we are within the build or gradle file make sure that you have the main sdk version set to 21 and also the compile sdk version also set to 33 so that's basically it for the android you can just close the tab make sure you have saving the changes so let's proceed from here that's basically it for the android configuration so within the main of that file you can see the home returns um a map view over here which is defined below as a stateful widget right um so the scaffold of this basically contain a column with the map bus navigation view right so in here testing the options and also on created function also on route events right so with, with the options that's the map bus options right so i pass in a navigation options at the top over here and this navigation options is defined over here as a map bus option at the return type so there's a function that initialize by getting the default options and adding an additional one over here right so we have map bus navigation dot instant get default options right so you can manipulate and add additional one as in the latitude and longitude so when we check the get default options let's see what's fine within the default options you can see the zoom the tilt the bearing the enable refresh the voice instruction enable so th those are the default options right so you can just add an additional one as i did over here by adding um the initial latitude and also the longitude so this value can be from the user's current location over here so after that, you can also change the mode of the navigation as seen over here to be navigations dot driving cycling working and also driving the traffic, right? So you can also um register route events listener, right? So map boss navigation dot instance. Then we call the method that register route event listener. Then we pass in a function called on route event, right? And this on route event is found over here. It's a function that is e right so you can get the distance remaining by calling map bus navigation dot instance dot get the distance remaining over here the same way you can also get a duration remaining by calling map bus dot instance dot get um duration remaining and so you can switch over here so you can have access to map bus events right so you can check the various events if the route is building also the route has also been built i've created a state at the top as route built so you can change the state to be true and work with that and break out of this case so you can also have an event as route build field and also change accordingly right and if the navigation is running there's also a state up there to change the state over here right and if there's on arrival that's where you reach your destination you can just update the state accordingly right so that's basically it um yeah so basically these are these are the states you can just do more of it with that so there's a controller over right here see the uncreated function testing the controller then we can assign that controller to a private variable controller after that we can just call the controller then initialize over here and also the function that we initialize you need to call it within the init state over here and make sure we have that disposed accordingly so i think that's basically it the on route event function is basically found on their documentation over here so you can check that out you can do more styles over here by adding waypoints yeah so that's basically it um i think you should give it a try and see how that goes so i'll be running it both on ios and android so as you can see the app is successfully built on 
ios and android right so when you unlock press you can just set destination over here then generate a route between that so you can just turn on the navigation mode and you can see the thing right right so when you run this on a physical device it actually works fine with the audio as well as in turn right turn left the number of meters left to read the destination the same thing on ios as well right so i think that's basically it if you want more of this depth into this tutorial i'll leave it in the comment section below right so see you in the next tutorial until then stay tuned